Hey, what's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone in the house again, man. Shout out to you all. Hope everybody is doing okay. Alright, so we're just going to talk a little bit um, about this West Indies test team that was selected. Well, not the team in general. I was actually doing some reading yesterday and I saw an interview that was done by our lead selector Desmond Haynes. And he was talking about the opening spot. We all know that the opening spot in the test team is a spot of bother. You yeah, understand? Uh, well, Craig Brathwaite occupies one spot where captain. The next position is the issue. And Desmond Haynes had a couple of interesting things to say as it relates to John Campbell and a couple of other openers that they would have tried over the last couple of years. So we're just going to be zooming in into a few things that he had to say. But before I go any further, if you are new to the channel or if you are a returning viewer, and you have not hit that subscribe button please go ahead and hit the subscribe button man turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified once a video is uploaded so i have a little bit a couple of jottings here that i i actually saw when i was reading the, the, the article so desmond haynes is quoted as saying a lot of quotes inside this one you know the opening position is a problem for us right the openers have to do a job for us right he insists that improving the opening position is of top priority for the new selection panel. You know, so they are not, well, not to say they are not worried about the rest of the team, but as it relates to the opening spot, that is something that they need to fix. You know, they said that, um, well, the struggle, is, the struggle of the opening position is well known, well documented. You know, we haven't really had two stable openers in test cricket for a long, long time. You understand and you know he's saying finding consistent opener to partner with the captain is something that is extremely difficult you know and we know that over the last five years Craig Brathwaite based on what I'm seeing here you he would have scored over 2188 runs in 40 matches or somewhere there about but the issue is with this with having a stable partner you know not all the time captain Craig Brathwaite will fire and you know he's usually one of those guys that will bat long and deep into the innings but in test matches if he gets out early that is usually where it, you can call it the beginning of the end for us because there is hardly anybody else that will come in and stabilize it so if we can find another owner that will score at a good rate while Craig Brathwaite is there doing his thing then um, that would be good and I mean theoretically if you look at it John Campbell would be an ideal candidate in the sense that um you know he's left-handed and he, he he's able to score at a fast pace and i say theoretically because when you put him out there to do a job for us he, you know we all know how it turned out on, on, a, on a couple of occasions when he got the opportunity you know no he's getting us a, a, a next chance i am hoping that it will work because theoretically you want to have a left and right and comp combination at the top of the order and with Craig Brathwaite batting as how he bats, you know, very slowly, you want to have somebody that is able to stay at um to, to, to keep the pace going and somebody that is able to also make sure that if necessary, keep a defense, a good defense. You know, so theoretically, things if things work out for John Campbell, that would be good. No, over the last couple of years, you know, we would we would have tried people like John Campbell, um, Kyron Powell, we would have tried tried Shea Hope. And um, yeah, and just the other day, Jeremy Solozano, he got the call up to go to Sri Lanka. But unfortunately, you know, he got that concussion issue and was unable to really, to really um, get his, really get, get a chance to go there and bat. So we are back with John Campbell again. Now, Desmond Haynes is saying that, you know, in terms of, of, of getting the opening position sorted out, it is of paramount importance. Because everything, every team, every quality team that you can think of, you know, they will definitely have a solid opening partnership. Even if it is a case that they don't um, produce all the time, more often than not, they will definitely go out there and, you know, see if they can give you a good start. You know, so um, John Campbell getting back in, uh, you will definitely need to, need, to, need to try and repay the selector's fate. And I mean... The, even though he would have failed um, miserably the last time he was around, if you are going to select the team based off merit, 
then they had to give him a shot because in two games in the regional championship where they said that they were going to look um to, to try and select somebody he was actually you know leading he got 213 i think in two innings with 127 coming against barbados so you know he's definitely going to um he's definitely going to going to need to repay them that favor and you know where West Indies cricket is concerned Desmond Haynes said that it was not only because of the century that he made but because of the fact that you know he would have had some amount of success opening with Craig Brathwaite you know um some understanding working with him and things so they decided that all right they're going to go with him but we will remember that in the last um 15 matches or so that John Campbell has played since what 2019 for West Indies he would have scored maybe 640 runs not a, not a lot of runs you understand so you know this this right here at home is a good opportunity for him to really push out there you know he's scoring runs in the regional tournament the conditions are this are, are going to be the same the only difference is that quality bowlers with more pace bowlers that are able to move the ball and spinners that will probably be more effective than the ones that you know he was facing but as it relates to making a comeback, this um, home tour probably will be the best opportunity for John Campbell to make a comeback. You know, and we see that Desmond Haynes is pushing for him to do his thing. So let us see. You now, as it relates to, to, to Solozano, I, I was one of them that was saying that, you know, his average wasn't the best as it relates to him getting into the team. But the mere fact that he was called up. And you know was expected to give an, to, to, to be given an opportunity. It's really tough look on him that you know things have passed him by. Um, it could also be said that he is not too bad when it comes on to playing spin in the regional tournament. You know, so that is why they, they would have selected him to go to Sri Lanka. But um, things being in the Caribbean here, well, I can't even say that neither because an ex, an, a person might say right now. In the Caribbean, they're going to get a little bit of pace, and that is going to be an issue for John Campbell outside his, his half stump. So, anywhere you look at it, it's you know, there, there you can find some amount of, of, of worries. But we just have to hope that things will work out for him. No, oh, just to add where Solozano is concerned, Desmond Haynes was saying that, um, you know, that is part of the reason why the selectors decided to put him in the presidential 11 so they could probably have another look at him. To see what is happening where he is concerned as it would be a good chance to, to for him to, to, to continue to show now Desmond Haynes is quoted as saying and I quote I think we want um we went with Campbell as I said earlier further down he repeated we went with Campbell because he would have had some amount of experience or success batting with um Craig Brathwaite be it as small as it is you know they decided that they're going to work with him so it is all there to be seen, my viewers and subscribers. You know, he's no longer a young man. I think he's about 28, you know, so it's not like he's in his early 20s. So, you know, he, he will definitely want to go out there and get some runs because opportunities are going to come in about how, how, how long are they going to be there for, you know, because at the end of the day, you're going to have other players that are knocking on the door. I mean, probably I shouldn't even say knocking on the door because if we had other openers really thumping down the door, then he wouldn't probably have returned that quickly. So we're just going to keep a close eye on things to see how it goes. But yeah, that is what the lead selector, Mr. Desmond Haynes, had to say, my viewers and subscribers, basically letting us know that here what um, we are going to be working with this pair and we are looking forward to them doing some work for us because at the end of the day, every good team definitely needs quality openers and he would know that because he himself was a very good opener partnered up with um greenwich garden greenwich for for years you know it was before my time before i was actually born but you know i know that Haynes and greenwich you know those two guys did a job for, for, for west indies for years upon years so he would know what he's looking for in an opening batsman so let us just hope that this thing work works out and as i said um, John Campbell probably couldn't have asked for a better, um, better scenario or situation. You know, England coming and you know he's going to be at home. So let us see what 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 he's made of. Let us see how he will repay the fate um, shown in him by the selectors. 
we're going to leave this one right here for now my viewers and subscribers oh probably later on we're going to try and see if we can do a live you know my viewers and subscribers yeah man later on let me see um yeah video finishing now guys this is just the <laughs> the, the, the add-ons um so let me see um champions league will be played um later on manchester united atletico madrid starting at three so uh, that, that will take us close up to five yeah we're probably going to try and do a live at five o'clock because you know i have to watch that manchester united game before so big up on yourself my peeps i'm out